You know, Allah Azza wa Jal revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam things of the unseen. And he told him about the end of times, the times near Judgment Day, what's going to happen. He described some things to the Prophet ﷺ, and he told us about this. In one hadith, he said that the reliable pe people will be uh, considered as liars, and the liars will be considered as reliable people. And then he said there will be times of ar-waybida, uh, the ar-waybida will speak. And then they asked him, what is the ar-waybida, ya Rasulullah? He said, a, a foolish person, a rajul al tafih a foolish person, ignorant person who talks about global ummah problems. And subhanAllah, this is so clear and evident today. We see it with the calamity and the and, and the fitna that's happening in, in Gaza. May Allah protect them and aid them uh, and, and make them vic victorious against their enemies. We see that everybody's talking about the solutions. Well, what should people do? Policing everyone, even policing governments and countries. Like, Akhir Kareem, who are you to talk about these things? Wallahi, this country should do this, and that country should do that. And why don't we do this? And why is this country silent? And why is that? It, this is ridiculous that people today, young people, have no experience in anything, talking about issues that are much older than them. Before you're maybe before much older than your parents, yeah, Habibi. Yani, this crisis has been happening, or this this crisis has been going on since 1948. We've been suffering, and not us. We're not suffering. We're just looking and, and, and really feeling sorry for us and for uh, our Muslim brothers in Gaza. But they're the ones who are facing the real crisis. The, this problem, this uh, problem with, with Israel, with the Zionists, has been happening since 1948, maybe even before that. Yeah. So we coming and saying, oh, I, I got the solution. No, no, don't, don't, don't yani, make yourself look like a fool, like a ruaybida. You, your part as a Muslim is that you support them with dua, you support them with with charity if you can and awareness permissible awareness not something that is that violates the any the rules of Allah and you leave these big matters to the people who are in authority the decision makers wallah you know but the decision makers are not doing anything who who said who, are you in the meetings with them i don't understand like did did you like get invited to these meetings to to begin with aslan were you there did you attend them are you on phone calls with them the answer is no. Do you think that anything that happens in the world, you have to know about it? It has to be on social media or else it didn't happen? This is foolish, Ya Akhil Karim. Don't let, don't, there are some kind of forces, hidden forces, that are pushing an agenda. They're trying to say, Wallahi, you know, the solution is so clear, but these, uh, the, 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 the decision makers or the governments or the rulers, they're traitors, they're doing this, they're doing that. How the battle, this is ridiculous and foolish. We don't know anything, we don't know what's going on. So, like I said, work with what is clear and productive. As a Muslim, be positive about about what you can do. But pointing fingers and policing and all that, this is this is yani, wrong, wrong. Yaqi, remember, you calling someone a traitor, you calling a whole government, a whole country traitors and with the enemy and all that, you'll be asked about the Yawm Al-Qiyamah. How dare you say these things without even any shred of... Not, I'm not saying even facts or information. You're just you know, creating something. You're being delusional about this. Like I said, things can happen behind social media. Social media is not an authentic, clear, transparent way of understanding how the world is working. on social media is the most misleading tool of today to tell you what you know to tell you and make you understand what how the world is working. So be mindful and be careful. A Muslim should not fall for these things, for these tricks. Wallahi, wallahi, I feel that. Yani, subhanallah, the enemy is playing this role. They're trying to manipulate and, and, and drive the Muslims today, especially the youth, into, into such discussions and such things. Here we apply, من حسن إسلام المرء تركه ما لا يعني. This is not your concern. Getting into the solution, like you know, military intervention, or, or what should this government do, and what should that government do, and then we're, we're, we're judging them. and This is not our part. Our part, we know it, and it's clear, alhamdulillah. Do that, and inshallah, Allah will aid them, and will this, yani, this problem will will be solved, inshallah, azza wa jal. Allah.